Dear friends, happy to meet you once again through this video. In the YouTube series of foreign travelers to Tamil Nadu, we are knowing what Chinese traveler Fei Xin, a military personnel of the fleet of the Ming Dynasty Admiral Zhang He, who visited India in the early 15th century, told about the Tamil lands. He is the author of a historical work named Chingcha Shanglan, the overall survey of the star raft. consisting of notes about countries visited by chinese ships i'm going to present the notes on country of siam present day thailand in this video from the book edited by rodrick pack actually country of siam was under the king of tamil descent which was mentioned by another traveler so that is the reason i am presenting it here now Starting from Champa with a fair wind one can reach here in 10 days and nights the mountains of this country are in appearance like a city wall and like a precipitous quarry of white stone the country has a thousand li in circumference outside the mountains are rugged inside the ridges are deep and sheltered the fields are level and fertile the grains is mostly abundant and ripe the climate is always hot The customs are violent and fierce. They particularly respect bravery. They invade and despoil neighboring regions. They sharpen arka palm wood for spears and use the skin of water buffaloes for shields. They have poison barbs and other such implements and are practiced and skillful at fighting on water. Men and women do up their hair in a chignon. A white cloth is wound round the head. They wear a long jacket. At the waist they tie on a colored cotton kerchief with blue designs. The principal chief and the lower classes when considering their plans whatever the matter may be great or small all decide in accordance with the wishes of the women. They pay adroit respect to all matters connected with funeral ceremonies. When a person has drawn his last breath inevitably pour quick silver in the corpse to preserve it. Afterwards they select a high mound and carrying out the service they burn him. They ferment sugar cane to make wine and boil sea water to obtain salt. It is customary instead of money to use cowries which are current in the markets. The commodities used in trade with them are such things as porcelain articles decorated in blue and white, cotton cloth with printed designs, colored thin silk, rolls of silk gold silver brass iron melted beads quick silver and umbrellas they are chief gratefully esteeming the far reaching benevolence of the heavenly court sent envoys who offered memorials written on leaves of gold and brought local products as tribute this is the country of siam present day thailand during the early 15th century as seen by fei xin I am presenting the content from Fei Xin's book Xingxia Shenglan the overall survey of the star raft based on a draft by JVG Mills edited and annotated by Roderick Pack published in 1996 I have many more interesting facts told by Fei Xin We'll meet you soon with another video of his visit to other countries until then thanks with wishes